Europium is a chemical element with the symbol EU and atomic number 63. Europium is a silvery white metal of the lanthanide series that reacts readily with air to form a dark oxide coating. It is the most chemically reactive, least dense, and softest of the lanthanide elements. It is soft enough to be cut with a knife. Although europium is present in most of the minerals containing the other rare elements. Due to the difficulties in separating the elements it was not until the late 1800s that the element was isolated. William Crookes observed the phosphorescent spectra of the rare elements including those eventually assigned to europium. Europium was first found in 1892 by Paul-Emile Lecoq de Boisvaudrin. Paul-Emile Lecoq de Boisvaudrin obtained basic fractions from samarium gadolinium concentrates which had spectral lines not accounted for by samarium or gadolinium. However, the discovery of europium is generally credited to French chemist Eugène Anatole de Marquet, who suspected samples of the recently discovered element samarium were contaminated with an unknown element in 1896 and who was able to isolate it in 1900. He then named it europium. When the europium doped yttrium orthovenidate red phosphor was discovered in the early 1960s, and understood to be about to cause a revolution in the color television industry. Prior to europium, the color TV red phosphor was very weak, and the other phosphor colors had to be muted, to maintain color balance. With the brilliant red europium phosphor, it was no longer necessary to mute the other colors, and a much brighter color TV picture was the result. Europium has continued to be in use in the TV industry ever since as well as in computer monitors. Californian basmacite now faces stiff competition from Bionobo, China, with an even, richer, europium content of 0.2%. Frank Spedding, celebrated for his development of the ion exchange technology that revolutionized the rare earth industry in the mid-1950s, once related the story of how he was lecturing on the rare earths in the 1930s. When an elderly gentleman approached him with an offer of a gift of several pounds of europium oxide. This was an unheard of quantity at the time, and Spedding did not take the man seriously. However, a package duly arrived in the mail, containing several pounds of genuine europium oxide. The elderly gentleman had turned out to be Herbert Newby McCoy, who had developed a famous method of europium purification involving redox chemistry. Relative to most other elements, commercial applications for europium are few and rather specialized. Almost invariably, its phosphorescence is exploited, either in the plus 2 or plus 3 oxidation state. It is a dopant in some types of glass and lasers and other optoelectric devices. Europium oxide, EU203, is widely used as a red phosphor in television sets and fluorescent lamps, and as an activator for yttrium-based phosphors. Color TV screens contain between 0.5 and 1 gram of europium oxide. Whereas trivalent europium gives red phosphors, the luminescence of divalent europium depends strongly on the composition of the host structure. UV to deep red luminescence can be achieved. The two classes of europium-based phosphor, red and blue, combined with the yellow, green terbium phosphors give white light. The color temperature of which can be varied by altering the proportion or specific composition of the individual phosphors. This phosphor system is typically encountered in helical fluorescent light bulbs. Combining the same three classes is one way to make trichromatic systems in TV and computer screens, but as an additive. It can be particularly effective in improving the intensity of red phosphor. Europium is also used in the manufacture of fluorescent glass, increasing the general efficiency of fluorescent lamps. One of the more common persistent afterglow phosphors besides copper dope zinc sulfide is europium dope strontium aluminate. Europium fluorescence is used to interrogate biomolecular interactions in drug discovery screens. It is also used in the anti-counterfeiting phosphors in euro banknotes. An application that has almost fallen out of use with the introduction of affordable superconducting magnets is the use of europium complexes, such as EU, FOD, 3, as shift reagents in NMR spectroscopy. Chiral shift reagents, such as EU, HFC, 3, are still used to determine an antiomeric purity. There are no clear indications that europium is particularly toxic compared to other heavy metals. Europium chloride, nitrate and oxide have been tested for toxicity. Europium chloride shows an acute intraperitoneal LD50 toxicity of 550 mg per kilogram and the acute oral LD50 toxicity is 5000 mg per kilogram. Europium nitrate shows a slightly higher intraperitoneal LD50 toxicity of 320 mg per kilogram, while the oral toxicity is above 5000 mg per kilogram. The metal dust presents a fire and explosion hazard, 